So Sample Fam, what is good? Today I just want to do a quick video for you guys on the new Essentials V2 collection. Now just keep in mind that these are not even all the colors. Some of the colors I don't have here, but I can tell you what they will be. And just know that all the Hazard Orange, all the orange pieces are going to release at a later date because we have uh, another thing to go with those, you know what I'm saying? And plus, I, ca I can't tell you everything. Just know we, we got some stuff coming. We got some stuff coming. We've gotten a few comments to go ahead and make a video on it, so that's what we are here to do. So as far as the tees go, the only color I do not have right now is the light brown tobacco cigar type color, which is one of my favorite colors. I don't have the t-shirt of that one, but I do have a few that I can show you guys. Uh, this one is the black tee. You guys can see all the tees are all one color, and then they have a glossy um, ink on the front, just to make sure it does give it a, a little bit of a pop on the front, but just not too much. Now, other than black, the other colorways we do have are your regular red, you have a heather gray, as you guys can see, we have an olive, more of a foresty type green. Other than these two, we also have this colorway which was supposed to be burgundy but honestly to me it feels more of a brick red um, but it will probably be labeled as more of a maroony uh, colorway it was supposed to match with the bomber one of the bomber colors I don't have which is our wine color bomber or burgundy bomber and the last tea I have to show you guys right now is the hazard orange like I said these will be releasing at a later date there's a hazard orange shirt bomber and Sherpa jacket so just be looking at we'll have more details on that later Next thing we're going to get into is the bombers, and I feel like we've definitely upped the materials on this one. We're using a different nylon. It still has that sheen. It's not like the satin. It's light, but also it just feels it just feels a little bit better. And also we fixed the sizing. We went up a size. So this XL, our manufacturer, his sizes were kind of small. So this XL is his usual double XL. So we just wanted to do that to make sure that. If you guys wanted to wear a hoodie or anything, or just it's just easier to wear, um, we'd rather make them a little bit bigger than have them too slim for you guys. It just makes more sense. Now, the two colors I'm missing in the bomber right now, like I said, are my light brown tobacco color and also the wine. But what I do have on me right now is the olive green. Every bomber has the safety orange on the inside. This is more of a matte finish. We want, didn't want it to be too shiny. The outside has a, a bit of a shine to it, but this is a really, really nice lightweight material on the side. It's not itchy or anything like that on your arms. And these jackets do have foam on them, so it is a mid-weight bomber jacket. Other details you guys can see on the zipper guard, it says V2 embroidered. We have a chest pocket on the left side. This is a fully functioning pocket. You can put whatever you want in there, a wallet, a phone. However you want to move, you can put that in there as well. We have another MA1 style pocket right here with our sample tag hanging. It does have sample embroidered on it, and this is the same color across all the jackets. The whole back is straight clean slate, nothing on there. And these white zips, there is a double zip on this jacket, so if you want to do your double zip thing and layer, you can. And as always, we do have special tagging. Sample Essentials, I'm going to go ahead and uh, focus on that so you guys can see. Sample Essentials, AW 2016, um, Auto Winter 2016. So any piece that you guys grab from the Essentials will have this special tag on it. So now that we got the details all out of the way, of course there's this green one, there's a black, you always got to have the black one, always. There's a navy as well, definitely one of the colors I really wanted to bring back was the navy. We also have, like I said, the Hazard Orange colorway. Now the thing we switched up with this one is that we didn't want it to be all orange since the inside of these ones are orange, the inside of this one is black. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite colors that I wanted to do. And it's the same details, just in an all over orange, very loud. And this last one has your New York Knicks feel, all over royal blue with the orange. Pairing this with that orange t-shirt, it's, it's a killer. Like that's, that, that's the pair. And last up, but definitely not least, I'm letting you guys know right now, people slept on the velvet, it sold out, and now people are asking for it back. These joints right here, these Sherpa hoodies, I'm letting you know they will keep you warm. Straight Eskimo Joe Flow. Now I'm gonna talk about this one. This is actually one of the sample, sample jackets. So I can point out some of the differences between something that we made just as a look-see and the full final product. So this one is the gray. Now this is the same color gray that you guys are gonna get if you decide to grab it. 
The inside of this one does not have the cotton lining. So if you guys look on the inside, it's straight up inside Sherpa. It's kind of hard to see, um, but there is no inner lining on this. If my camera will focus, you guys see there's no inner lining. It's just straight up Sherpa material. And also the pockets are just hanging on this one because there is nothing to back them. So details, we have a MA1 almost bomber style pocket right here on the sleeve. This utility pocket right here on the front is fully usable and we do have some Velcro so the flap is not just flying around. It's an asymmetrical kind of flap on the front. You see it comes down long ways here and it gets shorter and shorter up here in the corner. But this is, like I said, a fully functional pocket. Also, there are side slip pockets in here too. So if you don't want to use this one, don't want to be on your front, you can still use those side slip pockets. And there are hidden zippers on each side for once again, getting used a layer. Now yours won't look like this. This is just a sample. That's why it's all flapping in the wind like that. And another thing you can see in this sample, it's like kind of rough right here. It's a little rough on the inside. You guys can see some of the rough edges. So this is not the finished sample. This is what your jacket would look like. This right here is the all over navy blue stripper joint. Now the colors I'm missing are your off white, your black, and the hazard orange. There's also a red color that will be dropping. This is the finished final version that you would be purchasing. The difference is you can see the inside. There's no more pocket flapping all over in the wind. There's a cotton lining on the inside just to make it a bit more comfortable, not itchy because of the back of the Sherpa and how that material is. Same utility pocket on the front, same pocket on the sleeve, which I have right here, and just navy blue, navy blue zips, all one color, all monochromatic. And this one is finished, so it is not rough on the inside. You guys can see Sample Industries. Now this is a size me, and this is what I'll be taking pictures of for the product photos, AW2016. I said it once and I'm gonna say it again. Don't sleep on the Sherpa. Trust me, all right? People slept on that velvet, it, lit, it went, and everybody was like, damn, bro, I should've copped the velvet. Don't sleep. If you have not seen the Cyber Monday sale, I'd suggest you go check it out. It's 60% off of the sales section. I mean, you can get every pair of slides for about 40 bucks, and they usually cost 30 each. I'm just saying, if you're not getting cozy, I don't know what you're doing this winter season. There's also the whole fleece collection in there as well, and we have the World Tour jackets on pre-order right now. That was another jacket people were asking us about, and we brought it back for you guys. So like I said, we usually don't bring stuff like that back, we brought it back because you guys asked for it, so we delivered. We got you. Anyways, guys, I need to get out of here. Uh, I'm not going to do my channel outro to my channel, so I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to let y'all go. That's the info. All right, y'all. Sample IND. Y'all on the Twitter and the IG at SMPLIND. That's it. Peace.